And what a gorgeous sunset we have with very dry air in place across the coastal bend and decreasing winds, making for a cold night here in the coastal bend. Let's take a look at our winds. They gusted this morning as high as 46 miles an hour here in Corpus Christi, 41 in Portland, and also at the Naval Air Station, 38 in Ingleside, and also down at Kingsville. So some very windy conditions that are now beginning to subside, and that's going to result in a very cold night. 9 o'clock tonight, we're down to about 10 miles an hour. And by 7 in the morning, we're down to 6. And uh, with the winds coming in generally out of the northwest and in light and variable inland, I think we're going to see a freeze tonight. And hence, the freeze warning is in effect. During the day tomorrow, the winds will be very light, and that will make for a gorgeous afternoon. Here's the freeze warning for B in Live Oak County. That means about two hours at 32 or less, and uh, that could do some damage to some tender plants. If you have tender plants, you want to uh, definitely uh, water them. Tonight, you don't need to worry about covering because it's not going to be uh, below freezing for that long. And here in town, not at all. Take care of your pets. Everybody should do that. Give them some shelter and water tonight. Pipes, you don't need to worry about that either. And protect yourself with layered clothing if you're going to be out and about. It's 57 now. We'll drop into the low 40s by midnight with these clear skies and the dry air. And then temperatures really fall after midnight down to about 34 at 6 a.m. This is for Corpus Christi officially, which is taken out at the airport. Again, the bay will protect uh, where a lot of us live across the heart of the city and the south side of town as this cold air continues to come straight in from Canada around high pressure, which is now parked over Del Rio. As that high moves east overnight, it'll be sitting right over us in the morning, and that will result in uh, light winds, and that'll allow the temperature to drop even further with this dry air in place across the region. That very, very dry air is also uh, coming all the way down to the surface where our dew point temperature is only 24. If everything was ideal tonight and this was December or early January, we, that's where our low temperature would be tonight. But as it is, we'll do a little bit better. But it's 28 degrees less than it was this time yesterday. So the air is not only dry yesterday, but very dry today. So I'm calling for 32 officially for Corpus Christi, Robstown, and Sinton. A light freeze in the Beeville, George West area, also in Allison, Kingsville. But much warmer near the water because the wind's going to be blowing across the water. So 40 at the Naval Air Station in Padre Island. 41 in Port Aransas, 34 for Aransas Pass, and 35 for Rockport there coming across Copano Bay. But uh, out at the airport, again, there's no water to come across, so I think about 32. 34 in the morning, 57 at noon, chilly but nice. Look at that sunshine, 60, pleasant and sunny. We end on a high note tomorrow with a high of 60 degrees here, but 65 in Falfurious, 58 a little cooler up the north in Refurio. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, a light freeze tonight, no record. That's down in the 20s. Thank goodness we're not there. 32 and 60 tomorrow, 36 and 70 sensational on Friday. Saturday looks good at 74, but then the winds and clouds take over, so not so nice. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, big winds there, but warmer temperatures before the next front cools us back down starting next Tuesday night. Lee, Katya, it's going to be a cold night. Uh -huh. All right, thank you, Mr. Nelson.